This was Herbert Benson. This is not what the study was about. What the study was about, what they chose as their, uh, uh, their cohort for the study, was people that have had a uh, heart bypass operation. And uh, there are a lot of those around. Uh, it's a pretty uh, frequent thing. And, um, and they wondered, you know, would, would prayer help? You know, uh, the, the outcome is not always good. And uh, uh, it, they were getting more reliable all the time, but there's they're still problems. So most people, their families and their friends pray for them. Um, but what about intercessory prayer? Now, intercessory prayer is a prayer for somebody who doesn't know they're being prayed for. Um, and uh, if it's one thing, if I pray for myself, this may have some kind of benefits in, uh, uh, physiologically, uh, but it's another thing if a stranger prays for me. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the two priests who were praying for me when I was under that tree, um, I didn't know it, so that, in a sense, was intercessory prayer. No, you know, you argue whether, whether it worked or not, uh, but, uh, but that's not a test. And so the test was that they would take this huge cohort, 185,000 recipients of this type of surgery, and they would have teams of people who were skilled prayers. Uh, I don't know exactly what makes this person a skilled prayer, but they were selected by, uh, uh, by various religious organizations uh, as the suitable people to, uh, to, to do this job. And, uh, uh, and they prayed away, and, uh, uh, and then at the end, why they take the results. You know, did this person have any complications, this sort of thing. Um, and is it, but they had to do it double blind. I mean, the great discovery in medicine in the last century, um, much more important than antibiotics uh, or anything else, the great discovery was the discovery of the uh, placebo-controlled double-blind study by which we know what works and what doesn't. It's the only way we can tell. The mind is just too much into things. So it's the placebo-controlled double-blind study that tells us what works. And uh, so in their double-blind study, some people were prayed for and some people were not, and so they compare those two groups. And um, now, they, um, they found absolutely no difference between the two groups. It didn't matter whether you were being prayed for by these expert prayers or not. Uh, no matter how ardently they prayed, it apparently didn't seem to make a bit of difference. Uh, I am not surprised. Uh, but in fact, they had one small group they set aside out of this 185,000, a small group, smaller group, uh, in which they told them they were being prayed for. They did worse. Um, the explanation was that this is um, uh, performance anxiety, if you will. And uh, uh, so uh, w whether that is, the, uh, uh, is what's going on, uh, it was not a huge difference, but that was the only measurable difference in the study. Um, okay, so, um, so that's kind of where we are. Uh, we... We're here alone. Um, we are just an accident of the laws of nature. We don't have any idea why the laws of nature are the way they are. Um, but the, uh, the message is that there is no plan. There's no plan at all. This 
it's kind of comforting to me. Uh, I can make up my own mind. I'm not so I'm I'm not obligated to follow somebody's plan. Uh, we're hunter gatherers. Our brain evolved to help us uh, to find grubs and avoid tigers. Uh, the miracle is that the same brain allows us to write sonnets and solve differential equations and do all the other things that we do, um, and which is quite wonderful. But uh, uh, but apparently there's nothing supernatural about it, um, and it, this creates problems for us that we have to be the ones that take care of. Other species build nests as protection from the elements. Homo sapiens can alter the environment, and. Uh, uh, and that's pretty scary, and apparently we're altering it right now. Uh, so it, uh, these are the things that, uh, that we have to worry about. And, uh, and finally, um, I wrote this as the last line in my book, and um, uh, it, it, it cost me dearly. The, uh, when you write a book, the um, <coughs> The first review of any book that you publish for the open market uh, is Publishers Weekly. And the guy in Publishers Weekly was totally outraged by this arrogant statement and, uh, uh, and, and trashed the book, which, uh, which simply meant that it didn't get any reviews. Uh, and, uh, and that's all right, the book is catching on, word of mouth, uh, it's a little slower, but it's, uh, it's okay. Um, and that's, uh, that's kind of the story of, uh, uh, of superstition, and uh, I, uh, all this is in there somewhere, and I, uh, if any of you read it, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.